Did you know Fox News was sued? Nope. What? By Dominion. Oh, really? What the fuck? The same Dominion voting systems that were involved in the 2020 election, the most ethical, honest, and transparent election of all time, you know, dementia, 81 million votes, <laughs> for defamation. You gotta be fucking kidding. Well, ain't that a kick in the head. I'm Jazz Borgonzo, and this is What's Next. Happy Hump Day, everyone. Jazz Borgonzo, What's Next, your daily. How are you guys doing today? Wow. Did you know that Fox News got sued? Most people didn't. For what? Defamation. Regarding, well, the 2020 wonderful elections, the ethical, most honest, most transparent election of all time, voted in Joe Dementia, 81 million votes, you know, that election? Yeah, they got sued for defamation by Dominion Voting Systems. Oh my. Let's take a this look. comes out of Breitbart. Fox News, Dominion reached $787 million settlement in defamation lawsuit. Fox News had agreed to pay Dominion voting systems $787 million lawsuit, avoiding a trial in the $1.6 billion defamation case the electronic voting company brought against the cable news company. Wow. Dominion brought a $1.6 billion lawsuit against Fox News and its parent company, Fox Corp., in March of 21 for defamation, accusing the news outlet of harming its reputation by airing former President Donald Trump and his attorneys' dirty laundry claims that Fox, uh, that Dominion, Voting machines were used to rig the 2020 election. But the election was so honest. Fox News had argued that Trump and his attorneys claimed were newsworthy and protected by the First Amendment freedom of press. However, Dominion accused Fox News and his executives of airing such claims to save their failing, falling ratings after the 2020 election. The party settled on the first day of trial, which was scheduled to start Tuesday after the 24-hour delay. After uh, Delaware Superior Court Judge Eric Davis sworn in 12 jurors alternates Tuesday morning, court proceedings were delayed for nearly two and a half hours. Attorneys for both sides engaged in last minute negotiations. The trial was set to start at 1.30 p.m., but Davis took the bench shortly, therefore, by 4 p.m. to announce that parties had settled. Quote, the case had been resolved and to be resolved because of you, Davis told the jurors. Well, the jurors had nothing to do with it because they didn't hear anything. Your presence here was extremely important, and without you, the parties would not have been able to resolve their situation. Mm. Tuesday's settlement of, uh, avoids what is expected to be a six-week trial, which means Fox News executive and host uh, like Rupert Murdoch, Hannity, Carlson, and other potential witnesses would not have to testify before a jury about the network's coverage in 2020. The trial would have featured more than 12,000 exhibits, as Dominion and Fox News attorneys reportedly indicated there would be more than 7,000 and over 5,000 exhibits, respectively. Wow. Last week, Davis sanctioned Fox News and said the ally had a credibility problem and criticized the attorneys for not being straightforward and uh, with the court after reveal that Fox News withheld evidence from Dominion that may have had misrepresentation to the court about Murdoch's role at Fox News. The last minute settlement included $787.5 million payment from Fox, Dominion attorney Jess, Justin Nelson announced. Fox has admitted to telling lies about Dominion that caused enormous damage to my company, our employees, and the customers we serve, Dominion CEO John Paulos said in a press conference Tuesday afternoon. Nothing can ever make up for that. I cannot thank the election officials that we serve enough. Without them, there is no democracy. It was only a matter of time for that word came. However, Dominion attorney Stephen Shackelford warned that the settlement with Fox is not the end of the company's legal efforts to save its reputation. We're not done yet. We have some other people who, who have accountability uh, coming towards them, Shackelford said. The Fox spokesman said the company is pleased with the settlement case and acknowledged that the court's findings that, quote, certain claims about Dominion were false. Fox, News sports, uh, Fox spokesperson said, we're pleased to reach a settlement with our dispute with Dominion voting. We acknowledge that the court's findings, certain uh, claims about Dominion were to be false. This settlement reflects Fox's continued commitment to the highest journalistic standards. We are hopeful that our decision to resolve the dispute with Dominion amicably instead of acrimony of a divisive trial allows the country to move forward from these issues. Fox uh, Corp. have roughly $4.1 billion of cash and cash equivalents at, the hand, at, the, at hand at the end of 22. Wow. First Amendment attorney Martin Garvis said uh, everybody wins with Tuesday settlement. 
With the settlement, everybody wins. Fox goes its way, Dominion gets his cash, blah, 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 blah. Fox is facing a similar defamation lawsuit against electronic voting firm Smartmatic, which sued the cable news company in February of 21 over similar claims. My fault. Most people didn't know that Fox News got sued. Maybe a handful of people, but you know who's happy right now? The left. The woke mob, they are jumping up and down. They are screaming, yelling, waving pom-poms. And as their, you know, mams are running around. Usually when you settle out a case, it is saying you're guilty. When you're not really admitting to it, you kind of saying you are. Everybody knows that in 2020, when the election came out and Fox News was one of the first to jump out and say dementia won, of course, there were questions. Eventually, there were shenanigans in six different states. And of course, a number of those states and their counties turned out to be fraudulent means. Now, of course, Dominion got blamed for a lot of the things in regarding to electronic voting in a number of those states that had shenanigans going on. You know, four o'clock in the morning, ballot drops, you know, that doors, those types of things. But at the end of the day, sadly, we got dementia. 81 million votes. Yeah, funny how they're silent three years later. But this is where we are. But it would have been interesting to see Sean Hannity, Tucker Carlson, and others, notable members of Fox News, on the stand, on the witness stand, it would have been very, very interesting. But hopefully this is the end of this nonsense. But it's three years later. We all know that the election was fraudulent, you know, so many other ways. But uh, it would have been very interesting to see the trial. I'm Jazz Bergonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it, hit the notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. And we'll see you next time. Peace.